Old King Hill Pass, one of the most dangerous mountain passes. It's also the site of not one, not two, not three, but four runaway trains. This is the story of the first one, when it all began. I present to you the 2013 King Hill Runaway. On January 6, 2013, a C6 manifest was getting ready to depart from Key Hill Yard. It was led by ES44 AC 4729 and GP38 2015. Later, they depart the yard. They were carrying two tanker cars. Most of the other goods were boxcars carrying food and some coal. An auto rack was also on the train carrying some vehicles. Little did they know, once they reached the top of King Hill, things were going to go downhill. Like, way down. The journey was going so well. The drivers decided to stop before they go up the actual grade for a brake test. And, surprisingly, all went well. So, then they depart again. They thought that the brakes were just going to work fine for the train today. There's been no other runaways. There hasn't been a runaway on this, on this pass. Not a single runaway. But they didn't know that their train was going to be the first. They need to go downhill at least 15 miles per hour. That's where the engineer wants it. Then something odd happens. The conductor and brakeman notice that their train is going is creeping up to 30 miles per hour. Well, slightly speeding, but then it creeps up faster to 40, 50, 60, and then 65. So there, so then, that's where, to the point they start to worry. So they decide to throw it at the emergency, which kind of works. When it's wide enough. The train begins going too fast. Easily reaching 90 miles per hour. and every engine choked the tracks at over 90 miles per hour. The train derailed at 100. 
100 miles per hour, which then it ran away down the grade. Luckily, the crew was not dead. They survived the crash, but with, but still sustained minor injuries. Luckily, the houses were far away from the accident, but people that were eating out and looking out the window saw the accident and in horror didn't know what to do. All they could do at that point was just pray that everyone was okay. When the dust settled, the site was a complete mess. No one knows what could have caused this accident. Well, that's when they start asking, asking what caused this accident. They figured out the shock. The reason why it ran away down the grade is because two air hoses popped off and then the train couldn't stop anymore. It was then out of control. Without air hoses working, the train can't stop. If that happens, there's no way that you can stop. So, the only way that you can stop is if an accident happens. But if, if you don't, if, but if you want to survive, the best way is duck below the windows, brace for impact, or even just, well, jump out of the train. You gotta be careful though when you jump out. You gotta hit your head when you In the end, well, fortunately, three hoppers were totally beyond repair and scrapped, while the engines and other freight cars returned to service. No one will forever, no one will ever forget this day.